Hello everyone, this is CloudSir. Okay, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how to install the ARM version of Windows 10 in the Mac M1s. Okay, so I just like stumbled upon like a video like a few hours ago that they show you like the uh, Windows 10 ARM version already running in a, like a beta version of parallel desktop. So I download both. I'm gonna leave you the links in the description. Okay, so to install Parallels, you just have to double click it and follow the installation the installation in this case tutorial but i already installed it so there's no need for me to do that so okay so once you have in this case parallels installed and you download the windows is insider windows 10 insider preview as you can see this is already like a virtual disk image so the only thing that you have to do is double click it so that's what we're gonna do and now we're gonna let Parallels create the virtual machine. So we're gonna have to give it a, a, few, a couple of minutes. Hopefully it's gonna be less than a minute. Well, and as you can see, it's already like completed. Now we have to register for our account. So I'm gonna do this real quick. Okay, so the first thing after you logging into your account is going to ask you to input in this case your serial number that Parallels give it to you for free since this is like a beta version so once you register into their site in the link below and they're going to give you like a serial that you're going to have to put inside of the application and after that well we just wait in this case for a little bit longer for for Parallels to, con to configure the virtual machine so be back in a second The machine is finally starting. Hmm. Kinda looks like there's a little bit of lag. Could be my imagination. Or because it. Oh, what's this? <laughs> well, apparently something happened. It's just starting again. Must be like the Windows 10 initial setup that doing like all of the things didn't look correctly. Uh, restart my PC. I don't want to do any recovery options. I just want you to start. Might be starting now. And I think we're getting in. Well, I must point out that this is like a beta version of Windows 10 ARM that it's only available through the Insider program. And this is a beta version <laughs> of Parallels Desktop that you can well, access it access it if, if you like register in Parallels. But both of these are not like official stable versions, not at all. You always have to keep that in mind. So to see a blue screen really doesn't surprise me. Looks like there's no video. I mean, something 
something is happening in the background because as you can see here I have Microsoft Edge so if I try to run it Okay, let me try full screen mode to see if that fixes something. Uh, let me see. Oh yeah, I think that that kind of did the trick. So here's Microsoft Edge. Okay, I must say that this is really buggy. <laughs> Let's see what else we can do to solve this issue. Let me try to see if I can exit the full screen mode. I don't see like any option right now to view exit full screen. Well, I must say that this thing is really slow. I don't know if it's like some sort of issue with the scaling. I might have like to take a look more into it to see like what can I do. Okay, let me try this scale resolution. Sign it again, sign it out. Okay. Okay, wait a minute. After researching a little bit, I forgot like a very important step that I had to do in order for this to work completely. So you have to go here where it says, um, where it was. Hold on, give me a second. Okay, so you have to go to actions and then click on reinstall parallel tools and then a window is going to pop up that's going to reinstall the thing and then you're going to have to click on postpone so after you do that wow now it magically works everything works okay so now that we are like working inside of the virtual machine uh, as you can see it's not like a really smooth experience uh, if we check like our activity monitor let me see what we are experiencing here. Uh, Windows 10 is using almost 50% of the CPU apparently. Well, now it's 27, this is gonna vary eight. But yeah, there's like a lot of CPU usage, at least depending on what action are you doing. Well, I think that now it became stable. Uh, as you can see, we're running the Parallels uh, ARM version. Nothing wrong here. And yeah, I mean, this is an alternative if you want to install like Windows 10. Uh, as you can see, it's really well integrated with the Mac. So these are my files in my download folder in the Mac. So I must say that this is interesting, but as you can see, the experience is not fluent at all. So for example, if we go Firefox down now, Windows 10 ARM, let me see. I'll go to download, let me see, just the browsers, Firefox, download the browser, download Firefox. I just want to see like what this does, I, like I say, I've never used um, Windows 10 on ARM. I don't know what to expect. But I really think that at least if you are buying one of these like Macs, it's because you don't need like 
special Windows software. So I re even if if this becomes a stable, even if it's, if it runs smooth, like I don't really see like the point of, in my opinion at least, of having like a Windows 10 virtual machine, knowing that you have limited space on the Mac. At least in my case, I have also a Windows laptop. I have a Windows desktop. I'm just making uh, doing this for the fun of it. Well, now we have Firefox here. Everything appears to be working. Well, apparently I'm a robot. So, yeah, you can see that this is not like really fluent. Maybe it's because it still hasn't been like too much optimized. So we can expect like a better performance once, first of all, the Windows 10 ARM image is way better. And also that Parallels is way better. But yeah, I mean, this is it. If you wanna run Windows for any reason, right now in this precise moment, you can do it downloading uh, the ARM Insider image of Windows 10, downloading the beta version of Parallels, and you can have like your Windows 10 inside of the M1 Max. But like I said, this is not a pleasant experience at all. <laughs> so anyway, that's it for the video. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments, uh, subscribe, and see you next time.